Hi and welcome students. Today's lesson is going to cover the control panel and the settings app inside of Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So sometimes you'll want to look at your computer specifications as well as handle routine maintenance and look at security settings. The best way to do that is with your control panel. To get, the, to, get to the control panel, right click on the Windows icon in the bottom right and then click on control panel. Another way to do it is to press the Windows button or click on the Windows key and then type in control panel and you should see it pop up right there. Alright, so this is a Windows 10 application that will open up right here and you can see several different areas that the control panel covers like system and security. So if you wanted to view these by say another way, you could go right here to view by and you could choose large icons or small icons. So if I wanted to see a larger group of settings that I could change, I could click larger, large icons right there and I see all of those different settings that I could change there. I'm going to leave it as the default settings for this tutorial. Alright, so in Windows 10 you could check out your system and security by clicking right here. Now after you click here you could choose security and maintenance where you can basically go in and adjust your security and uh, maintenance preference settings and then you can also check out your system settings right here. All right, so those are the main uh, areas that you'll probably work with in here. Um, as far as backup and restore, you could actually backup and restore files in Windows 7, as well as look at your storage spaces and help protect your files from drive failure. So that's what's going on in the system uh, and security area. If you ever want to go back, you could do it right up here in the address bar. It's very similar to File Explorer, and I could click right there on Control Panel, and it'll take me back right here. Network and Internet will be where you can click to adjust your network settings. So for instance, if you're connected via e Ethernet cable, you could check that status here. Or if you're connected via Wi-Fi, you could also check that status here. All right, and you can change your home page or your default settings for your Internet browsers right there. Under hardware and sound, that's going to be where you adjust your uh, sound and also uh, your display settings for the most part. You could also change your power options if you're working on a laptop in this area. Or you could add devices and printers right here. So if you just have a new printer that you want to check and maybe make a wireless signal uh, reach out to that printer, you could add the device right there and search for that via uh, wireless signal. All right. Right here is where you uninstall a program or you can click on programs to see a list of all of your programs on your computer. All right, over here you can manage your user accounts and also your appearance and personalization. I'll go ahead and make a tutorial on the display and personalization area uh, right after this one. So if you're interested in learning about that, make sure you check that out in the Windows 10 playlist. And then over here you will see your clock, language and region. So if your clock is not disp displaying the right time in the bottom right, you can go ahead and just click that right there. All right, and then finally, ease of access. Ease of access adjusts your computer settings for vision, hearing, and mobility. So you could adjust those settings right there. So maybe if the font is too small, you could change it in that area. So that's the control panel. Now we're going to look at the settings app. To get to the settings app, you hit the Windows key, and then you click this gear icon under settings. Or you can click the Windows key and start to type settings and you should see it right there. When you open up settings, this is also a place that you can personalize your system settings, devices, uh, where you can basically set up your Bluetooth if you have a Bluetooth speaker or wireless mouse or keyboard, or you can display your uh, notifications or apps that you want to display on your notification area in the bottom right. Network and, inter and internet and personalization are similar to the ones that you saw in the control panel. Same with accounts and time and language. So some of the settings do overlap in here, um, but you can check, the, check uh, these out in the settings menu as well as the control panel. So between the control panel and the settings menu, you should basically be able to adjust and personal, personalize your Windows 10 computer. I hope this video has helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.